This is going to be my January setup for my self-care bullet journal. And for this setup, I decided to go for a kind of vintage winter scrapbooking vibe. And I'm going to be using book pages, some of this handmade paper, and even some pieces of a paper doily. But I'm starting off with this winter scrapbooking paper, and that's going to be the focal point of my spread. And I'm just layering that with some book pages for that scrapbook feel. And I'm actually also using the remainder of that book page paper on the right side of the spread for the heading, but you'll see that in a second because first I'm actually going to be writing the name of the month on top of that house, just because I thought that that would be kind of fun and the roof was just perfectly white and snowy and I decided to write the name of the month there in just plain cursive. And at the bottom left corner, there was a little bit of empty space, so I added a 3D snowman sticker there to go with the winter vibes of the spread. And my next step was actually adding a quote. And the quote says, I love beginnings. If I were in charge of calendars, every day would be January 1st. I don't necessarily agree <laughs> with that quote, but I thought that it was still very positive in terms of January. And I also do love new beginnings. I just don't think that I would make every day January 1st. That would be a lot of pressure, but it's still a very fun and interesting quote. And for all I know, the author of this quote probably meant it as more of a joke as well. <laughs> And the rest of the spread I'm just decorating with some winter washi tape. I actually got the set of winter washi tape last year and I finished one roll, I believe, maybe two, I can't remember how many I had in that set, but I still have three left so I'm using them for the setup because they fit so perfectly. And on the right side of the spread, I actually added quite a few things. I added some craft paper, some handmade paper, a piece of a doily on top of that craft paper, as well as, of course, more washi tape and another sticker. The next spread is definitely a lot simpler, and here I'm just using some craft paper, handmade paper, and book pages at the top of the spread to layer for the title. And the title of this spread is actually Highlights. So here I'm just going to be writing down the best things that happened during the month of January. And this just keeps me focused on the positive things rather than the negative. And I am decorating the top of the spread with some more of that wintry washi tape. Just to make things a little bit more fun, I added that thin snowy washi tape to the bottom and layered that with some blue washi tape. For the next spread, I'm using some more of that wintry washi tape. And layering this plain blue piece with some book pages at the top for the title. And the left side of my spread is my health reviews. So here I'm just kind of writing down how I was feeling that month and other things related to my health. 
using this blank piece from the same book page paper at the bottom right corner for the title as well. And the right side of the spread is my mood review. Just like for my health review, I'm just going to be writing down how my mood was during that month and whether anything kind of attributed to it being particularly good or particularly bad. And this helps me to just keep track of these things, which I think is pretty important. And I decorated this spread with some more winter-themed washi tape, a piece of the doily, and a sticker. For the next spread, I actually layered a whole bunch of papers at the top, starting with craft paper, adding some more handmade paper, some more <laughs> wintery scrapbooking paper, and another piece of scrapbooking paper that I just had lying around nearby. And the left side of my spread is my self-care goals spread. And here I'm just going to be writing down any goals that I have relating to self-care for the month of January. And the right spread is actually a little bit more interesting, and it's my negative to positive spread. So here I just think about the negative things that happened during the month, and then I kind of try to put a positive spin on them. And, of course, I added some more washi tape to decorate the spread. And I am decorating the spread with, of course, some more of that wintry washi tape, because it just fits the theme so well. And for the last spread in the setup, I'm layering some more book pages with some more of that wintery scrapbooking paper. And for this spread, I chose pieces that have more of the uh, wintery pattern on them, so that instead of using them for the title, I'm using them as just decorative elements. And for the title, I just added a small piece of washi tape in between the uh, two portions, just because there was a bit of empty space there, and decorated the rest of the spread with some more wintry washi tape. And this spread is my gratitude spread on the left, so on the left I write down all of the things that I'm grateful for, and on the right it's my accomplishments spread. So I just write down all of my accomplishments for the month, because if I don't do this kind of thing, then I tend to think that I didn't actually get anything done. So I personally find this spread very helpful. And that is it for this very wintry setup. Now let's move on to the final flip through. And I'm actually really happy with how this came out. I really like the wintry vibes and I think they just feel very appropriate for the winter season because it is very much winter here. There is actually a whole lot of snow on the ground right now. And I'm sure that there will be in January, February, and possibly even March and April. <laughs> So, snow felt appropriate, so I'm happy with this setup. I really hope that you liked this video, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Be you, always. Bye!